At first, there were nine people who went to Koho Olave. Um, George, Walter, myself, Charlie Maxwell. Uh, I forget, nine was six years ago. But Ian Lin was one of them. And Ian has been able to keep a real good perspective on our Ohana action and a real good surveillance on the military. <laughs> I'm not setting him up to talk about anything, but this is Ian Lin. I can't um, take very long because it's still kind of cold and it's been a long day out here. But I thought it would be good to remember why we're here. It's been six years since we first started this uh, long, drawn-out effort to stop the bombing of Kaha'olawe. It's been six years too long. It's kind of probably going to be a number of years more before we're able to really accomplish the job. A lot of people say, well, hey, you folks is dreamers. You know, that's what uh, they used to say to George. George was kind of a dreamer sometimes. Um, he was a dreamer, they said, because he thought the world could be different than it is. My own sense is that um, he had a better perspective on things than those people who called him dreamers. That is, he knew that it's not, that it's the military the, the politicians that support the military, those people who are uh, um, feeding their greed by destroying our lands, they're the ones who are dreamers. They're the ones who are dreamers. They're the ones who think you can make peace by training for war. They're the ones who think that we can make our lives more secure and protect our families' futures by building stockpiles of nuclear bombs that can blow up the world a thousand times. They're the ones who think that we can protect the land on Kaha'olawe or anywhere else by bombing it. They're the people who are trying to export that philosophy not only here in Hawaii, but to take it to Puerto Rico, to Okinawa, to the Middle East, to take it all over the world. I've been pretty lucky, and over the last five years, I was able to visit Vieques that our brothers from uh, the Big Island talked about in Puerto Rico. I stood on the beach one morning on Vieques. Beautiful place, incredibly beautiful. And you know, about seven o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden, right out of the sun comes US Navy planes, you know, about 200 feet off the ground coming into bomb. The next year, I, I was able to go to Okinawa and visit a small island off Okinawa, Ie Jima, Ie Island. The same thing's happening there. I sat in the home of an uh, old man, kind of, the, they called him sort of the Gandhi of Okinawa, beautiful old man who spent half his life trying to stop our, tax our American tax dollars from bombing his island. He's almost succeeded. And I think what I learned in those travels and what I, what I know here is George wasn't a dreamer because he knew that the world is different than that. He knew that we know how to make peace. We know how to, how to export aloha instead of war. And I think our job, whether it takes another six years or another 60 years, is to wake up the dreamers in the Pentagon and wake up the dreamers at Pearl Harbor and at Camp Smith and back here at the Capitol and make this a different kind of world. Thank you. I hope we can all work together for that whole time.